going everybody, I'm Captain Vaughn Podmore. This fly that I'm going to be tying today is the Yak Hair Pattern. I primarily fish this fly Catalina Island and offshore. It's a sardine looking pattern. It's tied out of Yak Hair, uh, tied very sparsely, make the eyes a little bigger. Uh, granted that we are fishing for a predatorial fish, they focus in on the head and those big eyes. I'm using a Gamagatsu CS17 uh, tarpon hook. It's very important that you use a heavier weight hook and what that does is it acts as a keel so that fly rides true. Um, given this fly is not really a flashy fly, it's, uh, it mimics more of the real thing. Um, and it's once again it's important you use a heavier hook and that fly rides true. If you throw in at tuners uh, or yellowtail with this fly and the fly starts rolling on itself, they are going to turn away. So at the same time, given that everything's tied above the hook, you can tweak that head to get it to ride straight. I mean, you never know till you put the fly in the water. Okay, we're first going to start off. Granted, everything's going to be tied on top of the hook, so we want everything tied real close. We'll start off with the thread by the eye of the hook. Run it back. It's about mid shank. Now this is a real short shank hook, real strong. Yak hair itself is not a, a beautiful looking material, it's kind of real scraggly, but uh, when it's in the water it goes in that translucent color and you don't really need to use a lot of flash. I think the key with these flies is not using a ton of flash. The same pattern you can fish in the Baja region for, uh, that will imitate your sardina flies and I've caught tons of tuna and rooster fish down there. So we pull out a little bit and what I normally do is get out all those straggly pieces and what we want to do is now we're tying on the, the belly of the fly so what you want to do is you want to the whole time while you're tying this you want to pull some fibers back so the angle of your fly ends up like that. You can always trim this down. Pull back a little bit. Cinch this down, come forward with the material. Keep in mind the whole time you want to keep that material on top of your hook. Come back a little more. This material you fold back over the wing. And pretty much now we've established the belly and the fly. You don't want to bring that thread too far back to where you first started because what it's going to do is going to pull the thread down. We get our scissors and when you cut you don't want to make a straight cut. You want to just stagger it up. Okay. So now we've got a, the belly of the fly. Our next step is what we're going to put in is some root beer crystal flash, very important. And this is going to be the lateral line on the sardine pattern. So, probably about eight strands of crystal flash. Lay it down on the top. Cinch it down. Nobody knows. Double this over again. So we lock it in nice and tight. Come forward, and we can bring this lateral line to about where its tail is going to be, and cut it off. Our next step is some olive yak hair. And a little secret, I'll tell everyone. This color. Nine out of ten times you're not going to find on the fly shops. You will find it in a green color. And what I do is I take it home and I bleach it to the color that I want. And the color you're looking for on the sardine patterns is more of an olivey, goldy color. So pull off some yak hair. Like I said earlier on, kind of messy material, but when it's in the water, it really comes to life. Cut a little section off. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, 
and the same deal goes here that first section we tie in we want it to come down we pull, pull the strands out so we taper the body again and we don't want it as long as that belly material so we pull it down get it to where we need it tie it off in front of that material the belly material once again keep everything on top cinch it down nice and tight bring this material over the top cinch it down so now if you can see I'm going to taper this down so we get a nice thick back on the body and you can play around with this stuff to where you think that it, it's going to look its best. Okay, so once we've done, done that, the next material we're going to use is just a hint of rust angel hair, which will give it that gold look on its back. Pull out a little bit of rust angel hair. is a rusty olive by the way put a little pinch on its head make a few turns cinch it down come forward with the thread and at that point the flies 99% done make a few half hitches Okay. Some hard as nail head cement. Now, what really pops on this fly is when you put the eyes on. Get some of these mirror flies, mirror eyes, sorry. Just remember, make the eyes nice and big. And you want to stick that first eye and bring the top part of the body up so it gives the fly a real pronounced head on it. Put another fly on the back, another eye at least. We've got one more step and that there's a black sharpie. Now if you guys ever pick up a live, real lively sardine from the bait barge or see one in the ocean, along its lateral line he has these little bit black spots and those are its sensor spots so he can sense what's around what's around him and get your sharpie and you make these little black spots along the lateral line and that's key too if you want to mimic the real thing we go on this side and we make the same little dots and once again a red sharpie comes in handy and we can just let's try a little red throat on them you don't always have to do this on the sardine patterns it's not necessary but I think it's more for the individual and the last step is epoxying the head um, I use a UV epoxy it goes off real fast you can fish the fly in five minutes uh, or you could use a rotisserie and use the, the five minute epoxy that takes a while um, but either way you, know, you could fish this fly pretty sharp if you fish it um, fish it with erratic strips get it down deep if you're fishing with a tuna um, fish it behind boils etc so go and stick them